Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. I am very excited today to be painting with my niece Jordan, who's visiting me from Texas, and her girlfriend Annabelle, who's also from Texas. They are headed off to university this fall, so we're going to do something for them to decorate their rooms with. And uh, we decided to, actually I decided, that we are going to do a marble roll. Um, Jordan likes a little more um, structure, so she's going to do a puddle pour with a marble roll through it. And then Annabelle and I like a little more chaos, so we're going to do a chaos ribbon uh, pour and then do, run the marble through it. So that's what we're going to do. I'll take you down to the canvas and let's start having some fun. I didn't get that time. I did the whole time. Okay, here we go. So I am very excited to be doing a chaos ribbon uh, pour today and show how the ladies here how to do it. So I'm using a uh, chroma acrylic acrylics essentials in white and then my other colors are inspired by the Barbie movie that I'm going to be seeing this weekend. So I have permanent red violet light um, for my Barbie pink and then I have um, Liquitex Basics deep violet and I have Pebeo Studio Acrylics uh, iridescent blue green which I, I think these colors are going to be very Barbie and can I guess. Um, so this is what we're going to do. You guys paying attention? Yes. <laughs> okay I'm going to uh, show Jordan how she's going to do hers. You're going to make six puddles of white like this. Maybe five. Five or six puddles like this. How many is that? Seven. Oh, that's seven. <laughs> okay, you're going to make seven puddles. <laughs> and then you're going to take these and you're going to puddle these paints right in the center of each one, all right? But um, Annabelle and I are gonna do this a little bit differently. We just want one big puddle of paint here. Just gonna move that around a little bit, even all the surfaces out. These paints are very, very thick. They need to be thick in order for the, to hold the lines when you're running the, um, the marble through it. We don't want to cover all of our edges. I'm going to pop that big bubble right there. My finger. There we go. And then we're going to take our darkest color, the one that has the most contrast. We're going to pinch the tip like this to get an even little stream. And then we're just going to drizzle our colors around like this. These little 12 by 16 inch canvases only need about uh, six ounces of paint. We'll be using more than that. Uh, so it gives us the opportunity to create our composition to wh whatever we like. So we will be tilting off quite a bit. There's that Barbie pink. There we go. And then the blue, which is my favorite part. I don't want to overdo it. This blue might take over. Here we go. Maybe one more time across. Oop. And then we have a marble. Just a regular old marble. We're going to turn this around a little bit. We're going to put it in the paint right here. And then we're just going to start tilting and allow it to flow around. go. I could keep going, but I actually like uh, what I'm seeing here, so I'm just going to stretch this out now to cover the entire canvas and allow all of those really cool lines that we just created to really stretch out. There we go.
and you notice um, Annabelle and Jordan that I'm tilting really I'm tilting to the corners but every time I, I cover a corner, I take the weight of the paint back to the center of the canvas. And you can tell where the weight is by where the paint is moving the fastest. back to that corner because I don't like all that pink and blue by itself. So let's cover our last corner first. I'm going to help it along a little bit and just use a little bit of this paint to wet that surface. It'll move faster. One, uh, one last time bringing the paint down to the center and then I am going to go back to this corner over here. moves a little slow. I'm like water, sweat is dripping like right off of my head. <laughs> it's like in my face. Dripping from my forehead into my eye. It is warm today. It is warm. And we're like in the sun. Wow. A little more. That's cute. Okay, bring that weight back to the center again, and I think we might be done. You see that, it, that we've gotten a lot of paint off because so, there's not much movement anymore. And you want to get as much paint off as possible because um, as it dries, if there's too much paint, it'll crack. But what do we think? I like it. It's yeah? Really cute. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. That blue is perfect. That blue is great, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I love the motion. I can't point at it because my I, my gloves are covered in paint. But um, yeah, I love this motion that the marble roll gives to it, and then the chaos stuff that's still in there. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's hit pause on the recording. Well, it wasn't filming. She has already started her puddles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uncle Nate is terrible with technology and she knows that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's fine. Okay, so just keep layering your puddles. So you need, you've got all three colors in these. You need uh, all three colors in these now. Does it matter what? It doesn't matter. Do it whichever way you want. Does it have to be in the center? Yes, can... it should be. Oh. Don't worry. What are you doing? I'm thinking, okay? I thought I smelled something burning. Oh my gosh, that's really rude. You know that? <laughs> of course. Okay. Perfect. Now I would put a little bit of white around here and here to connect all of the puddles. I get these out of your way. Right? 
cloud moving in. That'll be better for a little more right here. We're trying to cover some dry canvas there. There we go. That should be good. I'll take that from you. Now, where's your where's your marble? Oh, it's the one. Hey, yeah, you can use this one. This is the one I use. Oh my god. Raya. Yeah, oh my god. The, the cat is trying to curl up with the tripod. Okay. What do you want to do? I don't know. Um, I would put it in the white somewhere, like maybe over here or here. There you go. And now you're just going to... It's fine. You're just going to run this marble through all of the puddles. You're trying to disrupt all of the lines. Try and keep it in the wet part. If it gets to the dry part, it moves really fast, but it's easier to control if it stays in the, in the paint. Don't worry if you're losing some paint in, in various places, it's not a big deal. This is fun. It's cool, right? I love, it's kind of mesmerizing the way the, the marble moves through everything. And you can get a lot more control than you think you're going to. Mm -hmm. Nice. Come, no, come back over here a little bit. Wreck that up a little more. And wreck that center up a little more, too. Right now, it just looks like a heart. Come back this way. Oh, yeah, Carly Q. And then go off that bottom corner. We're off the side. Close enough. I like it. Okay, good. Put it. Put that in the. Yeah, there you go. Now we're going to tilt to the corners. Try and keep it on top of the, the paper if you can. Don't go too fast. But try and go right over this corner right here. Put that a little bit this way. There you go. Now come back and bring it. Bring the oh. weight of the paint back to the center a little bit. If you just tilt to the corners, then you end up with really weird lines. So you always have to bring the corner to the, the paint back to the corner. Come on down. There you go. Grab that corner. Sorry. Now turn your canvas around so that the viewers can see it. Now turn, like, turn it around. <laughs> Don't worry about getting paint on the table. Yeah. It's not that big a deal. Which corner are you going for? This one down here? Mm -hmm. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, I'm not doing good for the camera, but I'm working my <laughs> magic. You are. That was a good call for with the three different colors of green. I like it. I love green. I did it! Okay, now bring the weight of your paint back to the center. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. You're doing great. I have two suggestions or questions for you. Oh. So put it down. If this were my painting, I would want to get rid of this huge white space right here. Um, and I would probably take this off the edge. You don't have to. It's your piece of art. What would you do? I like it like this. You like it just I like it is? I it up, yeah. I think there's still a little too much paint on the canvas, unfortunately. So we have to oh, lose okay. something. So if you like those sections, come off this corner then. No, I'll pull it this way. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So like this? Turn the cam the canvas away. Okay. There like you that. go. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, you're learning to YouTube job. and... Yeah, I'm learning to YouTube from my uncle. And paint so. at the same time. Okay, that's probably enough. You think so? Yeah, stop. We don't want to lose all that green in that ah! spot. Oh no. That's okay. I've had these jean shorts for like five years. <laughs> don't drip over. Oh, you're going to drip. That's okay. Is it okay? Yeah. I still like it. Okay, good. I still love it. Oh, I kind of like the white little spots. 
Yeah, the little, the little stuff coming up there from the bottom. Mm -hmm. We're just going to cover these little dry corners with some paint from the table. And from my hands. <laughs> and from your hands. Yeah. And we're going to get these spots where you're touching the side of the canvas. <laughs> Mine does not look as good as Nate's, but it's okay. No, yours looks great. See, this this is a different style, right? I, I did the chaos thing. You did the puddle. So you're with with this style, you get a lot more blocks of color mm -hmm. and a lot more structure to it. Even though there's still some chaos, this looks like a leaf. You know what I mean? Yeah. Looks like a bloom coming up over on that side. So this is good. You can take your gloves off and just uh, put them in the trash right there. Great job, Jordan. Thank you very much. Thank Annabelle, you, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get this area cleaned up and then you can go you for yourself. All right, Annabelle is uh, ready to go. So let's talk about your colors. I think we forgot to mention Jordan's colors. I'll, I'll do that in, um, in text on the screen. Uh, Annabelle also has um, uh, Chroma Curl Acrylic Essentials in white. She has Amsterdam Sap Green. She has Amsterdam's Greenish Blue. And then she has a, a little bit of Amsterdam silver mixed with Amsterdam neutral gray, just to darken that tone a little bit. I wanted to make sure the gray, the silver and the white um, had some contrast to them. So those are her three colors. So you ready to go? Yeah, I have my marble. Oh, she's got her marble out and ready to go. Wait, actually, I don't, yeah, okay. Okay, so you're going to, you're just gonna make a great big huge puddle okay. of all your colors, all your white. Like in the middle. Yeah, make it like a runway. Keep going, use up most of it. There we go. Okay, okay that's enough. Ah. Now just tilt that around so that you kind of spread it out a bit. Cool. pretty good let's get let's try and get a little more over here I think you see it lump. I do see a lump. I come back over this way that should be good now I see a little bit of a lump somewhere right here yeah there we go should be fine there we go. A little bit of parchment paper. Never hurt anybody. <laughs> oh, actually, hold that up and, and let me flip it over. Okay. So it's rolling the other direction. There we go. Nice. Okay, the sun is definitely out. Okay, so what color do you flood. want on... Our little bug flower's already flown into the paint. <laughs> I got him. Yeah, poor bug. Okay, what color do you want on the bottom? You, you've seen uh, now what we are doing. So you're going to do like I did. You're going to drizzle the paint rather than puddle. I, I think it's... Blue. You're gonna use the blue as the background color? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I just Yeah, pinch the tip. Oh, okay. So you get yeah, you can control how much is coming out. There you go. Perfect. And just squiggle that stuff all over the place. You don't want to cover up the white completely, but you know, use quite a bit of it. <laughs> there we go. Some thinner lines, some thicker lines. That's good. Yeah. And then what color's next? Um, green. You want the green next? Yeah. Ah. It doesn't matter. This is chaos, remember? <laughs> Those two colors are so similar in tone. But when we stretch them out, they, they, you should be able to see the different colors. That's good. Yeah. And then the silver. Yay. See, if it was just blue and silver, you'd have Dallas Cowboy colors. <laughs> <laughs> Is your family a um, Cowboys fans? No. No? 
No, Steeler fans. Steelers? Yeah. Oh my God. Or you haven't been drummed out of Texas yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's your marble. So where do you want to start? Can I start anywhere? You can start anywhere. You can start in the middle, you can start in one of the corners, anywhere you want. I'll start in the middle. Yep. Remember to, just to uh, tilt towards the camera, yep. Yeah. Isn't that fun? I love those lines it makes. And don't be afraid to, to go over a line you've already gone, like to cross over if you want. You don't have to, but it won't hurt if you do. So cool. Kind of like pushing it along. Beautiful. Okay, and then I can like go off of You have to go right off the edge, or the corner, yep. Nice, okay. And now we tilt to the corners. Okay. Uh. Don't go too fast, because you'll distort, this will, uh, distort the lines. Come towards this corner, there we go. Nice, okay. Now pull it back. Ooh, good pivot. So we're gonna bring the weight of the paint back to the center and then come back over towards this corner. This could be very earthy. Ah, the bug just flew right in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Costa Rica. It's getting there. <laughs> Gotta be patient. I kind of want to reach out and help, but I'm not going to. <laughs> almost, almost. Oh, yay. Okay, now come back towards the center. Yep. And which corner do you want to do? This one or that one? I think this one. Oh. You can you can hold it by the push pins in the back. Oh really? Oh yeah. 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 That's what I do, it makes it easier. Make sure we're on camera, yep. Yeah. It's so bright out, I, can, I can't even see this screen very well. <laughs> Too much reflection on it. Oh, you're almost there. Keep going. There we go. Remember to use the push pins. Oh yeah. There we go. Now you know what? I this is no no. We want we want to come back over here. I want to um, put some of this stuff from the table on here. If it's uh, if the canvas is dry, it moves very slowly. We we'll run out of paint on the canvas, so. You make it wet, things slide around a little better. Oh. There you go. Now, now head to that corner. Moving slow. Is it look, moving at all? It's moving. But look how beautiful this is up in here. Yeah. Wow. It's cool. Maybe tilt it a little sharper angle. Yeah. That'll move it faster. It's moving. It's just moving slow. These paints might be thickening, thickening up too because it's hot out. Yeah. Pull this arm down a little bit just so that we come down at this angle. There you go. Now hold on, hold it in that spot. Yeah. So close, almost there. Don't look away, watch the paint. I am, I just... <laughs> okay, now we're gonna help it. 
Yeah. There we go. Okay. Now we want to bring that weight of the paint back to the center one last time. There we go. I really like this, Annabelle. Those are great colors. Yes, I love it. I think it looks cool. It looks like like a view of the earth. It does. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely earthy. Oh, yeah. I like that silver in there. It's like um, like clouds or something. I don't know. Yeah. I love it. Cool. And this motion is really fun. Okay, put that down and let's let's we'll clean up your eye, sides. Yeah. Let's put it right there. I'll dab some paint from the table onto the dry corners. <laughs> what about over here? Are we good over here on these corners? Yeah. Missing anything? Oh, wait, yeah, actually. Okay, so here we have the wet results. This uh, We're in my little storage bedroom here. Um, and I've got a little table set up because uh, it has air conditioning in here. So this will hopefully help it dry a little faster. So this is my Barbie inspired chaos ribbon pour marble roll. <laughs> I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. And this one is the one that Jordan made. This is your first, right? I think I made one like four years ago probably oh maybe. right we did one when i first started doing this we yeah. did one together that's with right maya. with maya yeah this but the uh this is the the better one of the two yeah. for sure <laughs> and then this is the one that annabelle did is this your first fluid yeah. art yes i thought so um i think they all turned out beautiful did you guys have fun yes we did it cool was, it was nice to see like a new art or try a new art style yes and it was fun to paint with me, right? Yeah, that too. <laughs> and I'm featured in a YouTube video, so that's pretty Woohoo, you're going to be YouTube yeah. famous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And come back and see me sometime. <laughs>